Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Coop and Cassius for IFL TV. We're in Abu Dhabi, head of the Rising Star Show this Saturday live on The Zone. I'm joined by Bada Semri. Have you changed your name? The, the, the thing with the name is, uh, Samreen is basically my great-great-grandfather and al Dharat is the real family name. So yeah, so my dad decided to go, go that route and lift up the family name. Okay. So that's what we're doing So right we, now. when you get announced to the ring on Saturday? It will be Dharat. So pronounce me it again so I can get it exactly right. Badr. Badr. Al. Al. Dharat. Dharat. Yeah. Okay. Just use the well, master, I've been, man. I've been calling your name for the last five years, so it's going to take some it's getting fine, used to. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. How worry. are you, first of all? I'm great, Alhamdulillah. How are you? All good, all good. Um, back in Abu Dhabi uh, on the very well-known known now Rising Stars concept. Yeah, so yeah. you'll be, this will be your 11th fight? It's my 11th fight, yeah. Let's go back to your last fight against uh, Afori. Yeah. Um, you enjoyed that one, didn't you? Honestly, it was, uh, it was a very great fight. I mean, like you said, I really enjoyed it. And uh, most and foremost is that I learned a lot from that fight. And uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm happy that I had the opportunity to share the ring with him. Nice guy. I saw him after the fight. And uh, yeah. What can you tell us about the opponent you're facing off with this weekend? So my guy is from Panama and he's a southpaw i don't know a lot of people don't like fighting southpaw i'm the opposite i actually enjoy fighting southpaw so yeah i'm looking forward to saturday night he's a quick fighter he's he's a good boxer you know but uh we got our strategies and game plans so yeah we're gonna follow that when you thought when the fight with jeff afori was made before um, i think we spoke about this about you wanting to have some kind of a breakthrough fight that really kind of really puts you onto the map. But I feel like that's on the verge of coming. Uh, you've been building up the rounds, you've been getting the wins, etc. But at some point, a title's got to come into it and <coughs> you want the biggest names in boxing. Mm. So uh, the, the thing is, I, I had my discussion with uh, my manager, Ahmed Siddiqui, about that. And uh, we want, I mean, I'm 23, man. I, I got the time of, I got, I got time, you know, I, I don't want to rush. I don't want to. I don't want to make those uh, rushed decisions and rushed career. You know, I want to enjoy my journey. I want to do it right. I want to enjoy it to the fullest. And when I want to fight for a title, and I want to make sure that I, I don't want to fight those silly titles that don't mean anything. Okay, I want to fight for a title, and then from from there go to the world titles. And we we can look at it early 2026, late 2025, to be realistic, so yeah. yeah. You have got time on your side, I think, sometimes you forget you're only 23, so you definitely don't have to rush anything for this. And I'm time. enjoying it, yeah. I'm enjoying it. I, li I like the journey, the, the, the way I'm going. I don't want to be 16 and 0 and fighting for a world title. I want to I wanna enjoy it, I want to I wanna make sure that I fought every type of style, you know, every type of anything I can think of. So yeah, I, I want to I do it right. Mm. Um, I do need to ask your uh, opinion, Bada, uh, about last week in Saudi Arabia. It was a, a crazy night in Riyadh. I'm <laughs> sure as a boxing fan, you would have you watched it. What did you make of uh, uh, Alexander Usyk's win over Tyson Fury? I mean, honestly, you might think I did, but I haven't watched it. And the reason why is because uh, I have a fight on Saturday night and, and, and it was very late, that fight was late and for me sleeping was more important but honestly before that fight happened I was, I, I'm a fan of both of them okay? and uh, I was like whoever wins wins is going to be the better man and I, I'm, I'm, I wasn't surprised that Usyk won because a lot of people get, get it twisted, this guy is like a He's a legend and he's going to go down as a Hall of Famer, that's for sure. And yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised at all and, I, would have, and I'd, I wouldn't be surprised if Fury got it. But yeah, this boxing stars makes fight. Even though you haven't watched the whole fight, you would have seen 
the snippets of round nine. Yeah, round that, that, was, that was a crazy round. I don't know how he didn't fall down. I mean, that was crazy, honestly. A lot of people told me as well that uh, he should have, uh, uh, the referee should have stopped the fight. I'm like, come on, man, that's an undisputed fight. You cannot, you cannot stop it for somebody that's not on, on the canvas and ice cold out. So yeah, but it was exciting. It was, it was a fun round, man. I'm pretty sure that was not three minutes in Tyson Fury's head. Yeah, it's mad how uh, Tyson Fury, but also we saw Tyson Fury kind of recover and then kind of uh, box, obviously, rounds 10, uh, uh, 10, 11, 12 after that. So, I mean, everyone's had their opinion. I can see the argument where people are saying, should it have been stopped or not? But when the undisputed is on the line, I get what yeah, you mean. Yeah, you can, you can yeah. stop it. And there's other stuff as well, you know, that that's the first time Tyson Fury was so light on the scale. Mm. That could have maybe affected him because he was never really naturally like this. He, he never fought like that. So that's th those things you have to put also in consideration when, when, when people fight like that, yeah. you know? So we never know because the reason why he beat Deontay Wilder the, the main reason was his weight advantage. Yeah. He was using his weight properly, you know, leaning over him, making him tired. But then again, Usyk is not wilder, you know. Okay, well, listen, um, yeah, this week you'll be looking to put on a show once again. Uh, yes, sir. In front of your, your fans here in Abu Dhabi. Um, Man, I'm confident in this fight because this is, this is the greatest camp I ever had. And in, in terms of boxing, strength and conditioning, everything, I had John O'Carroll as my sparring partner, you know, and he really, he really helped me a lot in this camp and I can be more grateful. And yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here and I'm excited for Saturday night. We'll definitely look forward to it. Uh, Bala, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me, man. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you again after. Of course, I appreciate it, man. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.